St. Gabriel Catholic Radio is pleased to bring you this gospel reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez for the 20th week of Ordinary Time. From the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. My dear friends in Christ, today we're at the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. When I was a young priest, uh, one of my mentors in the Archdiocese of Cincinnati used to say, well, when it comes to life and ministry, you have to remember the five Ps, pace, patience, perseverance, perspective, and prayer. Father David Schalk, who's a priest of the Diocese of Columbus, often when he concludes conversations with me, he'll say, Bishop, persevere, persevere. We have to persevere. And we see in the example of the Canaanite woman of today's gospel, perseverance in faith. Her daughter is tormented by a demon, and no one seemingly can help her. But she cries out to Jesus, as son of David, have pity on me. But Jesus seemingly brushes her off. But she perseveres and cries out again. But Jesus says it's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. Seemingly, Jesus is very harsh with her. But perhaps he's just trying to see how much does she really desire this healing for her daughter? How strong is her faith? And so she responds, even the dogs get the scraps from the master's table. Even the little puppy dogs get it. And so Jesus sees how great her faith is, how great her desire is, how she's persevering. And so at his word, his daughter is healed. Today, we live in a culture in which it's so easy to just find another option. Jesus wants us to persevere, to think about how he is present, how he is really the key and the answer to our life's problems. He is the one who is the solution. The Canaanite woman had faith in him, in his ability to heal, to save, and to make whole. I wonder, do we persevere when the going gets rough, or do we simply give up, or do we simply look for another option? Very often I used to drive to Toledo to see my parents, and in Lima, Ohio, there is the U.S. Plastics uh, Company. And on the side of the building, it says, Christ is the answer. The Canaanite woman understood this, and she persevered, not only for her own sake, but for the sake of her daughter. May we always persevere in faith. Thank you for joining us for this Gospel Reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez. If you'd like to share it with others, please visit the Bishop Fernandez podcast page at stgabrielradio.com.